Hey, welcome um, and stuff. So, I realize that some of you might not even understand the basics, and without the basics, you will not get far in the rice game. So that's why today we're going to try something a little fundamental. Uh, if you are an advanced ricer, feel free to skip this one. It's going to be all about inspecting. You know, that thing that you have to do to find out what other stuff is called. So that's what we're starting with, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Here's the basics. You right-click on something, and you go to Inspect Element here. It's at the bottom. WebKit has similar functionality. Um, if you use Chrome or Epiphany or Safari or something, you, you can probably figure it out. This is just going to be a real broad overview. But here's the fun stuff. You, uh, you point at what you want to style, and it'll show you the name of it. For example, that has a span, that's the type of thing it is, it has a couple classes, name and cap code, and you can target any of those in your CSS. Over here we have the post message, that's what we've been styling in the last video, uh, and that's contained inside of the post itself, which also has a post container. As you can see down here in this little uh, listified version of all the elements, the DOM is what it's called, but you know, that's, that's nerd shit. Anyways, all you really need to know is that this thing with the hashtag in front of it, that is the uh, ID of the element, and everything in blue with a period in front of it is a class, and you can target any of these. But classes are generally better thing to try and target since they'll be applied to each thing that is the same on a well-made website. So go for those. There's some other fun stuff you can do. Um, you can actually inspect Firefox itself. I'm going to try and find that real quick. I've got it saved in a different uh, user profile. I, I might go through making a profile, but uh, yeah, here is the address to go inspect the browser itself. And XUL Zool is uh, the guide from Ghostbusters. Isn't that cool? But uh, here's what you do you inspect it, and then you can start pointing at pieces of the browser itself. You've got the URL bar here, you've got your app menu button, you've got your tabs, your tab bar, search bar. I mean, this... I used to look at other people's style sheets and wonder how they found the name of everything. I assume this is it because unless you're gonna get into some real nerdy shit and use DOM Inspector, there's no hope, but this is a blast. And over here you have this little button. It looks like a cube with one side painted check this out. Boop! <laughs> 3D view. You can now grab things that are underneath other things. I find this invaluable. You can click here, 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 walk right up the DOM and find the name of each separate element that you want to style. And this is, uh, this is great stuff. Really just a blast. And plus you get to go woo! <laughs> And then you click it again and it all goes away. But uh, yeah, that's inspecting. And um, it's invaluable. It is probably what I spend 90% of my time doing whenever I'm writing a style sheet for a website or for the browser. I, I go here, I click this little button, and I find out what shit is called. So hopefully this is uh, helpful. Maybe you learned something, maybe not. Either way, who cares? And uh, I'll catch you guys next time.